What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Yeah! So in the last episode, we managed to defeat Whitney, the gym leader of the uh, Goldenrod City Gym. Uh, we beat her Miltank with one hit. If you don't believe me, go to the last episode. I'll show you how it's done. The other thing too is that we hatched our, our egg, and we got ourselves an Elac Kid, which is surprising to me, because I never get an Elac Kid, nor a Magby. Crying out loud, I gotta smooch him, but, you know, I wasn't so proud about that. But, anywho, aside from that, we got two Pokemon to, that actually evolved to both Zubat and, and Wooper. And now we are, like, the happiest mother lovers in the world right here. And here's another plus side to this. It is Saturday. It is time to go to the National Park because there is a bug catching contest and we want to do this. Now, this is, like, the sixth time I'm actually doing this, this whole National Park thing because, you know, Pinsir and Scyther are jackasses you know they won't stay in their pokeballs so take number six take number seven right here go up to route 35 and uh well just go right here and as you can see the guy is waiting for us and i'm reading this for like the seventh time right here he's like today's saturday Th that means the poke catching co uh, contest is today the rules are simple using one of your pokemon catch a bug pokemon to be judged would you like to give it a try heck yes come on we gotta win. We gotta win. We really have to win. You know what? I'm just gonna settle on whatever Pokemon I have. I don't care. Now, one of the things that you need to do, guys, is make sure to equip your Pokemon with a berry because some of these Pokemon are, yeah, they, they're gonna mess you up. All six times I tried doing this, the fucking Pokemon made me paint, faint. So, I'm not so happy about it. This is why I'm like, you know what? If I find a Beedrill that's at level 17, I'm gonna catch it. Okay? I don't care where I place. I really don't care anymore. So, yeah. Uh-oh. You have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Teddy Ursa, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? Yes, it's okay. Leave me alone. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete. And, yes, I'm leaving the Pokemon right there. And he's like, here are the park balls for the contest. Got 20 of them. I guess 20 balls. You can... Yeah, never mind. I'm not even going there. The person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon wins the wins the match. You have 20 minutes. If you're if you run out of Pokeballs, you're done. Not only that, but if your Pokemon faints, you're done. That's plain and simple. He doesn't say that, but you know, whatever. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go and catch the strongest bug Pokemon you can find. Okay. So here's one of my biggest, biggest peeves about this. Yes, this isn't the bug catching contest he did say go catch the strongest bug type pokemon you have okay then why in the heck are the winners always the guys with the scythers and the pincers i'm just wondering there are literally caterpies and weedles in here that are at level 18 why can't the, why can't those win those are rare those are strong i'm just saying but instead they want to go for rare so yeah not too happy about this. I'm really, really not happy about this. So, this is the seventh time I'm actually doing this. And, uh... I almost want to punch somebody in the face. I really do. I just want to punch the, the person who's doing this in the face. But, can't. Now, another thing, too. I went off screen to try and, you know, train a Ghastly that I caught off screen. Didn't really work out because... Ghastly only knows one attacking move, doesn't even know Nightshade yet, and, uh, you know, the other moves that it has, it only has Hypnosis and Lick, but the thing is, you really can't catch her any Pokemon with that, it's just like you only have Lick, you have to reach a certain level, and here we go, okay, so here we have a Pinsir, level 14, okay, dear sweet baby Jesus, help me out on this, help me out. Come on. Come on. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to use the Lick Attack. Trying to paralyze this Pokemon right here. Come on. First time. Yes. Okay. We're starting off quickly. We're playing with fire. Now this guy right here likes to bind you. Likes to use Vice Grip. I'm going to try and use Scratch. It's not really my strongest move. But Teddy Ursa is a very strong Pokemon right now. So I'm going to try and weaken the, the hell out of this Pinsir right here. Trying to get into the red, and that Vice Grip is bad news right there. Look at that, 10 HP. It will only take six. Oh, God. Okay, fully paralyzed. Come on. 
One more hit, please do not faint. He fainted! Ah! Alright, take two with the pincer right here. Oh my god, it is freaking annoying. Okay. Lick. Come on, baby. Paralysis, hello. Okay. So, we're going to be working quick right here, and that vice grip is a very, very dangerous move, so just be aware of that. And just going to try and weaken the heck out of this Pokemon right here. Of course, Teddy Ursa is a very strong Pokemon with its physical attack. Can't use Rollout nor nor Headbutt because it'll just beat it real quickly right there. And that Vice Grip is not doing me justice right now. So, come on. Okay. And there we go with the Bind Attack. So, right now, I can just throw, throw the Pokeball at this guy. And uh, that Bind Attack will hit me twice. But luckily for me, I got this. Surprise, surprise. I'm using a Berry. Okay, so. Come on. Heart of the Pokeballs! Go! Yes, I'm going into I'm going into Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Oh come on! It worked for Yugi! Okay, you're paralyzed, but you're still hurting me, you jackass. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Heart of the Pokeballs. Go. Come on. Come on. Stay in that ball. Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god. Pinsir, the stag beetle Pokemon, when it temp well, when the temperature drops at night, it sleeps on treetops or among the roots where it is well hidden. Alrighty, okay, so we caught ourselves a pincer. I am not catching anything else. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys. So let's go ahead and check that Pokemon out right here. Now No wait, that's not the wrong. Um caught pincer level 14. It only took me two balls. Um uh, you know what? While I'm right here doing this whole thing, uh, might as well shoot. Might as well go get. Oh well, I can't wait. Yes, I can use that. Okay, so we're in a national park. I don't really need to capture any other Pokemon unless I find like a Scyther that's level 15. If I find a Scyther that's level 15, you know what? I'm gonna screw around with that. I might. So I am gonna run away right here. So here we are in a national park, and we're gonna do some extra stuff right here. Um, where's the entrance? Where is the entrance right here? Oh, here we go. As you can see, there's an open gap right here, and you can actually go and find some of the items right here, like a paralysis heal. You can always go, you can always use that. And if you go further along, you will be able to find a very rare TM. Now, I was saving this for next episode, but since, you know, we wanna kill some time right here, I'm gonna go down here, and we can actually use our bike, uh, not right there. We go right here, we find ourselves the TM28, which is Dig, a very powerful ground type move. And let's see, there is something else. Is there something else right here? There might be something else. I could be wrong. Okay. No. Okay, so we're done right here, and I'm just going to put quit, and wherever, yeah, wherever we land, we land. Okay, so here it is. He's like, we will now judge you, well, we will no, now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing in third is Bugcatcher Benny, who caught a Caterpie. Probably at level 18. Score is 285 points. Placing in second. What? Well, I placed in second. Placed in second. I caught a Pinsir. Wonder who the winner got. Score is 338. And the winner is Cool Trainer Nick, who caught himself a Butterfree. Wow. Okay, so that's 352. I get myself an Everstone. Now, realize this. If you win the bug catching contest, you will get yourself a Sunstone. And that can actually be used to evolve uh, Gloom or a Blossom later on in, in your in your game right here. So, really don't need that Sunstone, but that's basically the, uh, yeah, the, the national contest right here. And yes, my Pokemon are given to me and Pinsir. What can it? What, what do I want to nickname this Pokemon? I don't know. Should I nickname this guy? Should I have him on my team? I don't know, guys. Oh God, I don't know. Let me see. I'm checking out something right now. I'm trying to make my decision right now because it's it's Pinsir. You know, it's a pretty cool Pokemon. 
never really had him on my team before so here's the game data and uh, let's see let's see let's see moving on forward it's pretty good it's pretty good it's base tags pretty good all that stuff I'm checking it out right now off screen and uh, let's see generation 2 generation 2 what did what can it learn well in generation 2 it can only learn two fighting type moves which is seismic toss and submission and it really doesn't look like it has any other good moves out there um, what can it learn Wow honestly this is a very good Pokemon to actually have but yeah I wouldn't risk it yeah yeah so I'm just gonna keep it as is bye bye pincer so your party's full the Pokemon has been sent to your PC okay so who's who's the guy that won who's the mother lover that won oh this guy maybe you got get a higher score for the Pokemon with unusual color I don't know Cindy, I really love bug Pokemon. Oh, first girl that I've ever seen that. Ed, maybe you win with a big Pokemon. And then, what does this guy say? Benny, I caught a Scyther before, but I didn't win. Huh. So, what about this guy? Darn, I thought I would have scored higher. No, you wouldn't. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the National Park and its event right there. Uh, stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. We will be battling these guys inside the National Park. I think we've already gotten all the items and whatnot, but we will be battling these guys. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys tomorrow.